Hi, I'm Veronica Reynolds, Head of Community Relations at New City Library. It's hard to get rid of old books, so what if we made something with them instead? You'll need a book, some glue, they mention hot glue in the original instructions, but use what you've got, a pen, a crayon or marker if you want to add a little color, a tape measure, a ruler's preferable, and some scissors. Flip to the end of your book and look for a few good pages. You want something with a lot of words on it so it'll look nice. Take your measuring tape or ruler and mark out four inches by four inches. If you want more delicate flowers, you can go smaller. And if you like bigger flowers, you can go larger. But four inches by four inches gives you a lot of room to work with. And most hardcover books will easily accommodate that. I recommend marking it out first, especially like me, if you're not very good at drawing straight lines. If you have some imperfections, that's okay. There'll be room for us to fix that later. And then you're going to go ahead and cut out your squares. You want three at least, although you may want to check take out one more just as um, insurance. Once you have three squares, you're going to go ahead and start folding. Each square will be folded into a triangle in half three times. So one, two, and three. This is where if you have any overage, you can cut the top a little bit to make it perfectly even. And repeat on your other two squares until you have three nice little triangles. They may open a little bit, that's okay. You're gonna take your pen and draw a dome shape at the top of your triangle where it's most open. The first few times you do this, it may not be perfect, but you're essentially going for that kind of half dome. Then you're gonna cut the dome out and repeat this with the next two. You'll also want to cut off just the very tip at the bottom opposite of the dome so that there'll be a hole in the center. When you're done, you should have three petal shaped pieces of paper when you unfold them. They should all look about the same, but you may have one that you prefer. And that's the one that you should take the first petal out of. All three of these are going to be cut. You'll see that there's lines defining each petal. The one that you like the best that's the one you should cut the single petal out. So in one, you're just going to cut out one petal. From the next one, you're going to cut out two petals together, so not separately, two conjoined petals. And from the last one, you'll be cutting out three petals. So as a result, you'll have one, two, and then a four, a five, and a six petal flower. The next step is rolling and folding. So you'll want your pen again, and you want to gently roll the petals around the tip of your pen to give the edges a nice curled look just like a real petal. And now it's glue time. You're going to hold your petal with the only one cut out of it and put a line of glue along the edge right there. You can use as much as you think you'll need and then set it aside to dry afterwards. Again if you have hot glue that's ideal. And you're going to match those two petals together, try and leave a gap, so that it all folds upwards. You're then going to repeat that with the one that's missing two petals that you've cut out. Put again another line of glue there. And then fold it together. You're going to take your glue again and put it around the hole because you want to offset the two sets of petals so they stick one in between the other like a real flower and it gives that a little bit of dimension and with the glue dot in the middle it'll hold together. You're going to repeat this for the one that's missing three petals and then you're going to start folding in your second and your single petal. The single petal is the most difficult you do have to curl that one pretty tightly to get it to fit inside. Once you slot in that final petal you're done with the main rows. Now you can add craft wire stems to this if you like, but I was trying to go with things that you might actually have around the house. The nice thing about this craft is the more times you try it, the better you'll get at it, and eventually you can have a dozen or more roses to show for it. That's all for today. Thanks for crafting along with me, and I hope one little flower can make your day a little brighter.